Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about filling in our newly expanded garden beds with dirt and talk about a few of the other perennials that we have going on behind us and some thoughts I have for the future of these garden beds. I thought I would talk a little bit about the perennials that are in the garden bed behind me. Most of them did come from my dad's garden and I did plant them just last year. So this is a very young garden bed. Like I said, when we moved into this house, it was very much a blank slate. There was actually a birch tree that was behind me that was infected and we took that out right away. So after we took that out and I knew I was going to build out these beds, I brought in some perennials and the ones that really did well last year, I kept in the, in the same spot. Um, I have moved a few around, but a couple to note uh, to my right, if you turn around, is that in the back, just starting to come up by the back fence, that is a uh, hedge of Shasta daisies. I almost missed that for a second. Some iris and then over more to my right are a hedge of asters that are starting to come up. Day lilies and then I have a hedge of canna lilies that are under the ground there as well. So those all went in last year. They've done really really well. I started putting some other perennials here like a couple David Austin roses that are new to the spot and they're fairly young so I'll see how they do this year and decide if I want to keep them here or if I want to move them with my other roses as we go along. In the lower part of my garden, just right to the corner over here where you see the arch, is where primarily I have all of my roses. And I do have a rose climbing up over the top and it's a climbing rose with little petite pink roses and it's gorgeous. We call it the vaulter because it is a very aggressive climber uh, and it will grow quite a bit in one year. So I do do a lot to control the size and pruning it back in the early spring, which I have already done. Also in that area, I've pulled in a hardy geranium, some phlox, and then this year on either side of that arch, I've planted two limelight hydrangeas, which are just going to be awesome. All right, so if you remember, we removed a bunch of sod in our yard here. And so you can see up and down this line, I have pulled the lawn line out and expanded my garden beds. And so we've done a lot of work just in the last week and wanted to just give you a quick update. So along here, we brought in, I want to say two and a half yards of just four-way dirt, just random um, regular soil to fill in these garden beds up to lawn line because I had a good inch, inch and a half to fill up in here. And I also wanted it to slope up with the trees and the existing existing plants that I had in the yard here. So if we want to walk around, you can see my maple is blooming, which is fantastic. I have a honeysuckle going, growing out along the fence here. And then a various number of other perennials that we talked about before. I've also started playing around with some pots and some ironwork. So right now here I have a planted clematis in this pot and I'm just playing around with with the placement because I'm trying to decide where I'm going to plant up some other perennials, probably some Veronica or Salvia in this front section here for for the border. And that's something that's great when you have all of the spaces. You can just play around and don't be afraid to plant something. Look at the height, look at the sun shade requirements and just get it in the ground. The best thing you can do in the garden is start and then if you don't like it or if it doesn't like it, you can move it. And that's that's the beauty of, of working in the garden. So don't be afraid to do that. If we come around to my right over here, 
you will see me starting to do that. I do a lot of uh, just placing pots of plants that I think I want to go there. I put them there, I linger on it for a couple days, I look at it, and then I'll put it in the, in the ground. So I think I'm gonna do that today. I have some lupine and some giardia here that I'm gonna plant in the ground, as well as a daisy that I'm, I'm still trying to figure out if, I, if that's gonna go there or not. So keep following the channel and see how we expand these garden beds and what I ultimately put in the ground. You guys, I had to break in one more thing. Holy smokes. Earlier in this video, I showed you a preview of my climbing rose that comes over this arch. And just a week later, look how much it's filled in and look how just awesome it is. And just step back for a second and appreciate the beauty of spring. I love it. I can't wait. See you guys. If you like what you see here today, be sure to click the like and subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of new episodes, click the bell.